Hey, how's it going everyone? A uh, little different video uh, for today. Uh, today I want to talk about, as you can tell from the title, uh, talk about private schools, but more specifically why I don't really believe in same-sex uh, private schools, whether it's from grade level, middle school, all the way to high school. Uh, this video is not to put down or rag on uh, private schools because going to a private school honestly, is probably more advantageous for the student compared to a really bad public school. But um, assuming uh, someone or a family household that can afford private school, usually that means they're a little bit higher on the tax bracket, they're a little bit more affluent, and they have more options. Therefore, this is my uh, problem with uh, um, same-sex private schools because that affluent household could probably afford to go to a co-ed private school or a really solid uh, public school for free. But anyways, um, my main crux with the same-sex private schools is that private schools are meant to prepare the student uh, for college and eventually for the real world. Uh, I went to a public school, just FYI. My wife went to a private school, but a co-ed private school, and we've had some discussions back and forth, some good ones. Like I was saying, the main uh, problem I have with the private schools is that the same-sex private schools is, it's not really a true representation of the real the real world. You, know, you get the private schools, it gives you all these advantages, it's more of a competitive environment. I'm not denying that at all. but. The real world is not just all men in one corner segregated with all females in another corner. Now I'm sure there are a lot of well-adjusted um, people and maybe you guys and gals can comment uh, in the comment section that have become very successful are well-adjusted not only academically but socially. I'm sure there's a lot of them out there. But what about the person that is a little bit shy or already a little bit socially inept. Let's say there's a, a guy who uh, just isn't quite a social butterfly and then he gets put to an all-male private school and then it kind of compounds the problem because he's never really around women now, I'm sure, and I am aware that, you know, I've known friends that went to all-male private schools they have dances and this and that, but I don't think that's quite the same. Now, people that argue for the same-sex private schools are gonna say a few things. Uh, and an extreme example for one, especially if you're like a female going to all-female school, how are you gonna get pregnant, right? <laughs> it's pretty, <laughs> that'd be a first, but um, how are you gonna get pregnant if um, it's all females, there's no guys? That is true, there's no denying that. Second uh, reason, I mean, that's an extreme example, but the second reason is that uh, people that are for same-sex private schools, they say that it allows the person to, the student to be more focused on their academics, more focused. Well, I will um, disagree with that because especially like, like, I'm in my upper 30s now, but especially at that age in your teenage years, your hormones are kind of like all up and down, you're moody, you're through the roof, you're going through a lot of changes through puberty. And I think that when you kind of, that whole out of sight, out of mind mentality, I don't know if that applies to a lot of uh, people at that age. I kind of feel like when you deprive uh, a certain individual of certain things, I think you kind of gravitate more, more towards it and you, um, it kind of, um, you put more importance to it. So let's say, like I said earlier, if you're that socially inept guy and then you end up, you went to all male school, you end up going to college and then all of a sudden it's so hyped up because you're not even, you're not even around women, all, you're not rarely around women and you, you hype it up so much to the point where you start psyching yourself out. And then when that occurs, what happens when you go to college? College is supposed to be the time where you have fun, you party, you meet friends. Also study, obviously, but the social aspect is very important because that uh, being socially, uh, having a high social IQ is very valuable. And I think that a lot of schools in general, not just private schools, but public schools, they tend to not 
uh, focus on that too much and then you end up with a person with you know with honors classes a 4.5 gpa going out of high school a near perfect sat score all the curricular ac extracurricular activities activities under their belt community service this club this club sp uh two or three sport athlete they have everything listed and then they go and they can't they can't meet friends they don't know how to network once they um try to find a job after they graduate um and i'm not putting all this on the whole same sex um private school but i just feel like i guess the main question is if you're a, a family that can afford any type of private school why would you choose the um same-sex school as opposed to the co-ed are you truly truly worried that your kids are going to get so distracted to the point where they're just going to completely falter i mean i would assume that if you raise your kid properly now nothing is perfect but under normal circumstances if you ra raise your children um properly that for the most part you would kind of at that point kind of trust their judgment I mean, you still want to monitor them but I mean, come on, if, if it gets to the point where you're worried that she's just gonna, your daughter's going to go out and just spread her legs and get pregnant, and that's why you put, in, you put them in an all-female school, to me, that's kind of like a helicopter parent, in my opinion. Um, that's just how I feel. Um, let me know your guys and gals' uh, experiences. I would love to hear if anyone that's watching this video has went to a uh, all male private school if you're a male or all female uh, private school if you're a female and let me know your um, your uh, direct experience and or if you have classmates how did they have you kept up in touch with them and have they had any um, negative impact with that so that's my uh, two cents I just figured you got the means you got the resources you got the money I for one you know, I, I'm lucky enough. That's one of the reasons why me and my wife got m moved into this house with this neighborhood because the public school systems is is really good. I just, if I don't have to pay it, <laughs> I'm trying to be cheap. But I mean, if there's a really good, I mean, if there's a really good public school, why am I gonna dish out and fork out thousands of dollars when I could just get or you know provide my son or daughter, future son or daughter? a solid education with the public school. That's my time. Catch you in the next video. Bye.